All right, good morning, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, citizens, Americans, uh, and people of the world. Hey, Senate Bill S-510, dead, dead, dead. Don't start dancing. Do not start dancing one bit and do not start celebrating. You know, it's pretty sad, but um, I wanted to move very slowly before I made this video because I want the information to be very accurate and sound. Now, let me get this right. Regardless of... Um, of what the people wanted in direct opposition of what the outcry of the American public gave, you know what? The Senate still passed this bill. You know what that's telling you? That's telling you that backroom deals, bribes, and they have been paid. They couldn't have read this bill because it's been reported today and listen to this. I want you to listen to what it says right here. The bill passed through the Senate November 30, 2010 only to be tossed out on December 1st, 2010. Now, it's now being held up because the Senate cannot pass any bill that deals with tax revenue. So it's dead now. But with Monsanto involved, you can bet that this fight is far from over. Did y'all hear what I y'all hear what I just got finished reading? And they're telling the truth. Now, you know that these sorry congressmen, these sorry senators didn't read it. That's letting you know that they have special special interest groups have them in their back pockets they don't care nothing about you don't you think your vote means one thing when it comes to these vindictive obstinate rebels that are up there inside that outhouse don't you think for one minute hey listen to this these critics of the bill uh, that, that constantly send me all type of private messages calling me everything but a child of the king you know that they were government officials trying to sway my opinion on this. No, but we're going to stay the course. But let me read you what it says. Monsanto says it has no interest in the bill. Liars, liars, they were the ones who were promoting the bill and would not benefit from it. But Monsanto's uh, Michael Taylor, who gave us RBGH and the uh, unregulated genetically modified organism, appears to have designed it and is waiting as an appointed food czar to the FDA, a position unapproved by Congress. To administer the agency, it would create without judicial review if it passes. S-510 would give Monsanto unlimited power over all U.S. seed. Food supplements, food and farming, homeland security would impose controls. Now, there's a video up there about a lady um, uh, that's reporting on this from RT. She called it Farmageddon. <laughs> huh? What a sick nation we in. Huh? What a sick nation we in. Let me tell you something. These senators, these politicians, every last one of them are schooled in strategy, deception, and lies. They're all lawyers. They all go to the same school of deception. If you people haven't figured it out by now, it's you. The American people who are the enemies of this foreign government in Washington, D.C. And that is the truth. Look, you're going to stay diseased. You're going to stay sick because you won't do anything about your condition. You know, I'm a pastor of a little small country um, church up here in Lafayette, Tennessee. And we have people, a uh, very small congregation, no more than maybe 40, 50 people. And we have people ranging from 82 years old to 2 years old. And none of us are on prescription drugs. I wonder what we are doing. I wonder what we're doing. I'll tell you what we do do. We grow our own food. Yes, we do too. We use organic stuff. Yes, we do too. Uh-huh. We got a, a nice little 40 acre plot down here. And we do everything we can to stay healthy. You see, health, 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 if you're going to listen to me, health. Is about you taking responsibility. That's what real true health care is. Is you taking responsibility for your own self because these people ain't going to do it. Every time you go in these grocery stores, you're buying GMOs, genetically modified foods. Foods that are chemically induced, that has no nutritional value whatsoever at all. Your body is starving for nutrition. That's why your body is now an environment for obesity, food allergies, cancers, every sickness and disease known to man. America is a very sick population. But let me tell you something. This thing is far, far, far from over. Um, I think that this year, 
and you should have been started. You should have started last week. That you should do everything in your power, even if you live in an apartment. You get your flower pot and you start growing your garden in that pot. Um, if you live out in the country, you start tilling up land. You start growing a garden today. That's right, getting yourself ready. Because, you see, this thing failed. And let me read it again. Look at this. The, because the Senate cannot pass any bills that deals with tax revenue, so it's dead. Again, they did not read the bill. They've been bribed. And they took the bribe. Taxes. Follow the money. Follow the money. My advice is, is that you show that you mean business by growing the biggest garden you can this year and canning. I'll put some more information out about this a little bit later on. Um, but I'll tell you what, you're going to have to start changing your mind. You people really truly need to change your mind. You're going to start becoming independent. You see, the more food you grow and you consume, the less taxes that the government and corporations like Monsanto and these jack leg line pig of dogs called congressmen would have control over you as the people. You are free because you are born free. And that's the truth. So start exercising and quit being a sir for these, for these people who don't care nothing about you. Anyway, don't start rejoicing right now. Definitely don't start rejoicing. Do something about it.